So similar to the last video, this will be more of an audio than a video presentation <laughs> because as you may or may not have realized, I love to hear the sound of my own voice. Just joking. Throughout history though, major evolutions have occurred that have led to our modern high-speed fiber optical cable. Now there are some important dates and people that must be referenced and recognized. So let's skip 1874. Let, let's first go to 1952, when physicist Narendra Singh conducted experiments that led to the invention of the first optical fiber. In 1956, the process of developing the gastroscope was responsible by physicist Lawrence E. Curtis, and he produced the first glass-clad fiber. Let's go down. In 1965, Charles K. Coe and George A. Hockman of the British company Standard Telephones and Cables were the first to recognize that attenuation of contemporary fibers was caused by impurities which could be removed, rather than the fundamental physical effects such as scattering. In 1977, General Telephone and Electronics sent the first live telephone traffic through fiber optics at 6 megabytes per second in Long Beach, California. And our last date, in 1996, the first phototonic crystal fibers became commercially available in 1996. But let's go to 1874, our earliest date. In 1874, Irish physicist John Tyndall recognized that light could travel through an optical medium. It was his thinking and his discovery that led us to this entire new form of communication, this entire new form of transfer, which as we know, is the optical fiber. I wonder if my face will ever be plastered all over the internet, recognized as one of the greatest physicists in history? Probably not. But everyone's got to have a little bit of hope. <laughs>